All right, guys, uh, end of day webinar for Friday, February 17th, 2017. Um, really nice finish to the week for us. I'm extremely happy with how things went today. Um, so we got a long weekend coming up. I'm not going to take too much of your time. We've definitely earned it. And I don't know about you guys, but I, I think I'll enjoy the three days. I um, haven't had a little vacation in a while, so be nice to, to have some time to just, you know, relax and you can easily get burned out if you spend too much time staring at screens without a break. So every once in a while, a nice three or four day uh, vacation is always nice. Let's dive right into the uh, trade ideas from today. So starting with tops. Uh, the thing I loved about this one is we really had a pretty clear plan and idea on this one. Uh, you know, like pretty well before we even took the trade so pre-market we were kind of already planning to short that uh, 35 area um, 435 and it was a little choppy in there so it, was, it wasn't it was the most clean cut trade but once it broke 30 it was totally totally just money from there uh, really no stress in that one uh, on the 30 breaks so really a pretty simple uh, a little a little stressful in the beginning but we had a pretty clear plan I was gonna stop out 460 as a hard stop if it happened to reclaim, and then we would just look to reattack it later. But it uh, worked out really well. Congratulations to everyone who got in on that trade. Obviously, um, it went quite a bit lower. I had a few targets on this one. Um, first target I was thinking was 402, second one was 382, and then 352. And it's, it's actually even lower. <laughs> it's it's added all the way down to 320 today. So uh, very, very, very nice trade, a great opportunity. And again, um, this kind of just goes back to what I was saying yesterday is, you know, yesterday things were pretty slow. Uh, there wasn't a whole lot, you know, in terms of big opportunities. So on those days, we know to pull back and protect our capital. On days like yesterday, you know, we're not trying to chase around ZSAM with size. We know that it's a choppy, uh, annoying stock that's probably not going to give us much opportunity. And it was exactly the same way today. And that's why I ignored it. But I could sort of imagine people having a really hard time with a stock like ZSAN yesterday because they're really trying to make something happen that's just not there. And so yesterday, I'm super proud of our group, how we stayed patient, waited, saved our cash for the right opportunity, which was today. Tops hits the top of our scanner in the morning and, and after hours yesterday. We make a clean plan on it, big trade. That's what it's all about. Tops, I'm very happy with that one. I think I, I think I could have held more size longer on that one, but nonetheless, the entry was uh, and the plans were pretty solid. Um, next trade and the second trade was MOSY. Again, really patient to wait for this one. Got a long trigger at 385. Uh, had it planned out well ahead of time as we were talking about a rate in this area. This is where I started to get really interested is when it started to hold this 360, and then we got a little higher low there, and you can see the volume come in. Um, I started buying it right through up to 385 and the target on that one was 420 pretty much spot on it did hit as high as 435 almost so not bad at all on the, on the exit on that one at 420 and I was looking for the possibility of a secondary move on this one but it just could, it just didn't get back over 410 which in order to get long again I would have needed uh, an actual clean setup over 410 which it never gave us as you guys know I took a small short position um, at around 398 with risk off 405, solid seven cent risk trade and a uh, nice washout in a day. So that was uh, pretty much my day. Um, three trades, nothing more, nothing less, all solid plans and uh, really nice execution today, guys. I'm very, very happy with how it went today. Also, shout out and congratulations to Trade Addict and Bark Trader who just continuously keep providing us with amazing research. The teamwork, again, has been just spectacular in the sense that, you know, we got guys that are awesome at research, we got guys that are looking through the SEC filings for us, and, and then we got, uh, you know, me sort of finding the technical areas where we're gonna actually make these trades, and then use the research we have and we know to help sort of keep our conviction on those trades. And uh, it's really a good team effort, guys, so I really appreciate that. And uh, thanks again, Bar Trader, for taking a look under the hood on TOPS and MOSY for us today. Um, other than that, guys, like I said, I'm just going to cut it short. Congratulations on a great day. Um, I'm really glad we pulled it back yesterday. And, and again, uh, like I talked about yesterday in my, my long rant, end-of-day webinar was simply that 
you know, it's a blessing to know when it makes sense to pull back and protect your capital and when it makes sense to go big and make the big trades. And we, we're really good at finding those areas, not only when to take the big trades, but to get those entries so that the trades work almost immediately in our favor. Case in point, MOSY, almost immediately working for us and the short on the way down. There's just a lot of early shorts in this one. It, it, it was pretty obvious that to me that if it broke 85, it was gonna start squeezing. Either way, I really like the risk reward in that trade. And um, even if it didn't work, I still would take that trade every single time. So happy that it did work. And uh, I'm really happy that you guys <clears throat> We're able to stick it out through a slow day yesterday with us to nail those three trades today. So congratulations again, guys. Have a really good long weekend. Um, rest up, study up. we got a lot of material in the members portal if you want to uh, review some of our video lessons and webinars. There's about 55, probably closer to 65 now, um, video lessons and webinars that are not on our public YouTube channels. And those are some of the best content we have. So I uh, hope you guys have a chance to check those out. And again, thanks for an awesome week, guys. It's been a, been a pleasure. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Tuesday morning. All right, guys. Cheers.